It cost them 600 bucks. That's a good deal. To ship the rod. And so the x-rays, you want these on both sides to take it? Yes. Yeah, and we can take this bolt and come right out. Yeah, and I don't know if you can shoot down I don't know if we could get through that. Of course we could though, because that bolt hole is going to be darker than that. Right. The yeah, it's going to be this way. Right. Well, that's alright. I mean, we'll get, we'll get, you know, this area right here. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get yeah. right between the bolts. Right. Well, all that. yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure it was broken. That side definitely was well enough. Anyway, what I'd like to do to start with, I'd like to sit down with the guys and go through them the basics of, of radiography and, and magnifying and magnifying level. We're going to make new pieces here. You guys wouldn't know anybody that does stress relieving with the, with the pads. We do. It's not us personally. Right. Yes. Do all the hate treating you want. There you go. Because we want to make any of the welded repairs, we want to line this up right where we want it to be. Then we want to stress relief, so it has a chance to stay in there. Yep. Can definitely do that. Okay. We've said we're going to x-ray these frames. What we're doing is actually, it's, technically it's not x-ray, it's, it's isotope radiography. Okay, they brought a radioactive source with them. It's in that big box on the back of the truck. Where's your source? Oh yeah, the actual source itself it's is capsule about, it just looks like a okay. clear Okay, and the rest of it is shielding there because it's so radioactive. Cobalt 60? Yep. Yeah, okay. The source is a piece of radioactive material, cobalt 60. And it's in the box there. They'll set it up, and they'll what they'll do is they'll take film, and they'll put film on the back side. All right? And then they're going to take that radioactive source and shoot through the frame. And just like when you have a light, okay, and yeah, this isn't doing it real well. I need a bigger hole. But you know, when, when you have a variation in the density of the metal. So that's a way to, to check something like that. You know, we're looking to see if it, the frame is actually cracked or if they were just pad welding that area there. Uh, and see if it is welded, is it still a sound weld? Do we need to gouge it out and re-weld it? Or can we live with it just the way it is? and then the x-rays that they take will do that. Now on the rods, they'll take a yoke, magnetic yoke, okay? And what that will do, that magnetic yoke will set up a magnetic current through the piece. Coil. Yeah, and it'll go around in a big circle, all right? Anywhere there's a discontinuity, a break or a crack, the magnetic field will be stronger in that area there. And they'll be dusting particles, and those arc particles will go to that area and give you an indication. If they show up in a big solid line, you got a crack there. We were actually going to do a fluorescent mag for you guys. OK, so it'll glow in the dark. Yeah. Yeah. We are low. Um, you know, distance, your best Defense against radioactivity is getting yeah, away from it. We do this thing, it's called practicing Alara, as low as reasonably achieved, because you want to get, we try to pick up less radiation from the sun, or more radiation from the sun every day than we do doing our jobs. So you have this, this little system, it's called the inverse square law, and you basically take time, distance, and shielding. So if we can shield ourselves behind the outside of this building or as far away as possible, you want to put as much in between you and the radiation that you can because, like you said, it has to penetrate things. So, you know, metal is a pretty dense thing, you know, wood's not as dense, and each time it's hitting these, it's, it's actually dropping rays, so they have alpha and beta particles, and it's actually breaking them down 
and kind of not letting them go through as much penetrate. So the farther you're away, you've got to really be careful with this cold bottom. I mean, it's a really strong source. I am like these and a half the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can stay away from it. Stay away from it. You got like 100 MR in one spot and you double your distance, it's going to cut that 100 MR down to 25 MR. Just remember, if you double your distance, then you cut it down by four. If you right. increase your That's distance. That's what they say, the inverse square. Yes. Right. The, the drop, <coughs> you know, you can go 10 feet, and it's 10 times that uh, less. Right. Put that in there because it is the most dense thing in the world. It is the most dense metal. Stronger. Dense. Like this in tungsten, watch, just hold this, feel how heavy that is. It's a pretty heavy piece of thing on. And it's just all that, all that for shielding. Because it is the most dense thing in the world, it is the most dense metal. Stronger. Dense. Like this in tungsten, watch, just hold this, feel how heavy that is. It's a pretty heavy piece of thing on. Yeah. And it's just all that, all that for shielding. Yeah, I guess it just has to be one of those trial and error things about this. 